knock knock. Casa. Because of you. My life has changed. Ito. Wala. Farmer na me. <laughs> Welcome to Casa Esperanza. Ito po ay pinangarap namin ng aking partner na si Conrad Onglao. Naaalala niyo po ba yung picture na to? Naku, malaki na po ang pinagbago. At ako po ay excited na ipakita sa inyo kung paano nabuo ang Casa Esperanza. Mga kaibigan, bago yung surpresang yan. Kung yung kakalimutan mag-click ng subscribe, ito pong red button na to. Para naman updated tayong lahat sa kung ano ang maganap dito sa Casa Esperanza at of course sa Esperanza Farms. Excited na ako ipakita sa inyo. Handa na ba kayo? Get ready! Welcome to Lukban, the art capital of Quezon Province. Dito po namin naisipan magpatayo ng rest house that sits on a two-hectare property at the heart of Barangay Piis. We call it Casa Esperanza. Doon po sa mga hindi nakakaalam, Esperanza po ang tunay kong pangalan. Medyo tongue twister yata kasi kung ipangalan natin Casa Sarja. <laughs> Di ba? Casa Esperanza. Ayun, mas bagay siya. We are now in Highway 603. Ito yung national road papuntang Sampalo. Kita nyo naman nakatrapal lang yung bako that gate namin before. This is the private gate. Going towards the mama. Yeah, the... Ito na siya ngayon. Madali lang puntahan, guys. You can use Waze. It's only 2 hours and 20 minutes from Makati. Pagpasok mo sa loob ng gate, you turn left to the parking lot. At ito ang itsura ng parking lot noon. Dito yung mga office at bodega ng mga materyales namin. Wala na yung bodega. Ito na siya ngayon. Napansin nyo ba yung malilit na graba? Gustong gusto ko yung look na yan kasi makes the style more country. Pagbaba mo ng kotse, ito naman yung dating entrance papunta sa pavilion. Conrad experimented with some precast steps, but I told him that I prefer its simpler look. So, binalik namin sa grabita or small graba. Ang style ng Casa Esperanza ay modern rustic with touches of Asian design. Now, since 14 ni Condad to, siya na lang ang pag-explain na natin. The architectural design is modern rustic farmhouse. Rustic because we use recycled yakal wood. Modern would be the glass walls and roofing. The roofing is a preformed pattern type, long span, inspired by the black roofings from New Zealand. Our decorating appointments, accessories, and artifacts are mostly Asian items collected through the years. The garden plants are mostly what's indigenous to the area. Thank you, Conrad. Ganda ng boses pang voiceover. Gosh, so colleague. <laughs> Thank you, my love. ngayon sa tinatawag naming pavilion. Dito ka mag-poop. Ito ang view mo. Oo, oh, oh, babe. Balik ka. Doon na lang ang shower. And then another lavabo here. Bakit may his and hers? Oh, sure. Sa so, mula lagay yung parang ano, bato-bato na wall. Yun? Ito. 
Perfect. This is the fifth. Oh, nice, Reba. Is the sweet is the what? Hamid, yeah. Hamid, yeah. It's a passive ventilation. Oh, passive ventilation. It's not the best. 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 That's the kitchen, main kitchen, and that's the bathroom. It's not the best. It's not the best. And then, it's the best. It's the best. It's the best. And this will have glass partitions like the Tulad Samarai. Hello, that's Igmet. Hi, Igmet. <laughs> and, <laughs> ito hindi ko kilala. Kanila yan. Her doggies. Ayan sila mga tag. Natanggal na lahat. Pagawa ko na lang ulit. I would go as high as possible. It has a wrap-around balcony. The living room is on the left side and the dining on the right with a small showcase kitchen. Excited na ako makita yung final kitchen. Alam nyo, sinadyaya ni Condot gawin para sa akin so that I could film cooking here for my very own YouTube channel. So in the near future, guys, gawin natin yung mga tinatawag na farm to table, ha? Abangan nyo yan. Yung kita ng pavilion ay ang magiging receiving area namin. It leads to the view of the pool, the center pond, and the casas, three casitas. Punta naman tayo sa retaining wall. This also has a water feature with a koi pond. Behind it is where we have the powder room, the industrial kitchen, staff rooms, driver's quarters, four bathrooms and showers. We also have a manager's office. Hmm, completely ba? When you get to Casa Esperanza, do you know where you can get lots of fun? The swimming pool. That's where the pool is going to be. Ayan na siya, nakapatag na. That will be grass. Pagbaba mo rito, yung area na yun. May tiles din yun. Continuous sa pool. Ito ang assigned space niya and you can see the center pond beyond it. The pool is 5 by 25 meters and what I love most about it is that it's salt water and not chlorinated. Sa area na to, meron ding brick oven where you can make your own pizza. And a fireplace where you can hang out with your family or barkada on cooler nights. The middle pond. And there will be water cascading there. Matt. Hey boy. Come boy. This is the end of the middle pond. There should be more water as uh, the rain comes. Let me show you the biggest lily pond that we have. It's on the left side of the property which features the forest garden. So this is the pond on the left of the property. Here's how the pond idea came to be. I remember standing at the very end of this place, kasama ko si Conrad, and we noticed that it's where water naturally flowed, so we had the idea of turning it into a rain collection pond. I asked Conrad if he could create a very big pond for me filled with lilies. That's how I envisioned the place. And well, he gave it some thought and said yes. The digging's finished. Talaga na ang trapal para maging lake siya with lilies and fish. By the way, the structure nato yun yung ano meditation room. And here's what it is today. 
he added a meditation center at the very end where you can practice yoga, pray, or even have massages. Hmm, I can't wait for that day. Guys! Hi! Hi to Mama! It also has a greenhouse. Ito na yung greenhouse. Oh, oh may porwa na sa bakas. Welcome to our greenhouse. We have fern trees. And yung mga dinideliver pa na bago na hindi pa natatanin. Wow, look at that. So, this is our work table. This is for the sitting area. Breakfast. Yes, you can have breakfast here. There'll be a sitting area where you're just, you can read a book, just chill out, and then overlooking the pond. Right now, we have a collection of ferns inside, but I plan to have my own collection of orchids very soon. Watch out for that. Now, this is what it used to look like inside. We had a cement table and those beautiful green lights. We decided to make it into a dining area so, it has been replaced with old repurposed wood as a dining table, and it sits eight. It's a pang chandelier from Restoration Hardware. Doesn't it give better ambiance to intimate lunches or dinners? So next vlog, I can show you other places you can have meals. We made sure, kain, tulog, at swimming lang tayo sa casa. A perfect place to chill and relax. Maybe you can have a picnic here, if you wish. We can set it up for you. This is our forest garden. Hi! Sage, Ginger! Is Sage still a cry cry baby? Yeah. Oh. Yes, yes, Sage. Yes, come on! Guys, we built this place as an extension of our home. And we can't wait to share it with all of you. Remember, it's still under construction. So watch out for my upcoming videos until Casa Esperanza is completely finished. Mga kaibigan, maraming salamat. At sa susunod naman, Ang makikita natin ay ang finishing. Conrad tells me that this is the process that he enjoys the most. Kasi syempre, yung creative, artistic side niya talagang lumalabas dito. Handa na ba kayong panoorin yun? Just click subscribe! Maraming salamat sa Mayor of Lukban, Celso Olivier Dator. Ang Vice Mayor, shout out to Moises Villasenor. Mayor of Sampaloc, Noel Angelo de Vanadera. And of course, ang aming pamangkin, ang Vice Mayor ng Sampaloc, which is next door, si Kenneth Nantes. Maraming salamat again for joining us. See you again! So, tapos na ako magkuha ng mga video-video ng video. Hindi Tagalog eh, video-video. <laughs>